Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll explain why a BMW 3 Series Generation 2005 to 2013 might not start. So, we have that beamer here, guys, and when we turn the ignition on, it doesn't want to start. You get the ignition lights on, but it doesn't start. That will work, guys. That procedure should work on E90, 91, 92, and 93. Now, you can have quite a few problems causing your car not to start. Bad relays, bad fuses, bad fuel pump, bad starter, so you never know. But we'll explain, okay, this one, and if you have those symptoms, you can check out a simple relay that controls the car immobilizer. Now, that key has a chip inside, guys, and when you plug it in, or if you have a regular ignition, it reads that chip and it tells the immobilizer if the key is matching, so it's going to start the car for you. But if uh, if the system doesn't work, it's not going to start the car. And we have one relay that controls the, it's called the car access module, CAS module. That CAS module is the one for the immobilizer. Let me show you with a bad relay what happens and we'll show you which relay it is. Okay, as you can see, key is plugged in. Okay, I'll press, I'll press the brake paddle at the same time, start, and nothing happens. Okay, I'm going to start again, nothing. Okay, you can see the lights come on, ignition is on, but it doesn't want to start the car. So, how we fix that now? Okay, we pull the key out and we need to go to the fuse panel and find the relay that fixes that problem. You can see we even got a transmission message now. So, if you open your glove box, okay, gotta make sure that it's empty. Okay, we have uh, two things holding that cover in place. Okay, those things will need to be turned 90 degrees facing up. Okay, and we can go ahead and pull that cover out. Once you pull the cover, guys, okay, we have a, okay, we have a few relays on this side now, right here. Okay, you can see those three relays, and then on this side we have more relays. You can see three right here. And if you try, okay, to find, okay, what those relays are for, okay, let me just pull them out to see which one it was for the relays. It's not going to tell you information about one of the relays. Okay, you can see, now those are the three on the left side, the three on the right side. The top one, it just says KL30G. So, that relay, guys, is actually for the car access module. Okay, this relay there. So, go ahead. Okay, let me pull it out. It will be really, really Stuck. So let me grab with the other hand and see. Okay, perfect. Okay, we'll pull the relay out. That's what it looks like. And we're going to replace it with a new one and see if that fixes the problem. So I'll get the new relay now, identical to the old one. You can find it out in the description of the video below. Plug it in. Okay, this thing goes only one certain way. So, we just heard like the fuel pump or something going for one second once we connected it. And we're going to see if the car is going to start now. Let's give it a try. It fired right up with no problem guys, so you can see that definitely fixed our problem. Now, if you guys, okay, if your car doesn't start, it doesn't mean that this relay is bad, it could be many other things as well, but that's a, that's a start, to start there and see. Also, uh, we have the video how to test a relay, you can find it on the channel. That way you know if, if for sure it's uh, bad or not. Sometimes uh, they will be bad only when they're uh, when they, they get hot, if something shorted out, but sometimes, uh, probably 90% of the time, you can tell with the test if the relay is good. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. See you guys next time.